Chinese doctors have performed surgeries for about 100 needy patients and they also use the opportunity to make donation of some medical tools to the Rejokuku Krowo Municipal Assembly, Lekma Hospital, Teshi in Accra. There was free eye cataract surgeries which benefited about 100 people and partial support for minimally invasive laparoscopic surgeries for about 50 people. Statistics show that four out of five Guineans are found to be blind from causes such as untreated cataract, glaucoma, diabetic, retinopathy and corneal relative causes which could have been avoided. This activity formed part of the Chinese medical charity project being sponsored by the 11th batch of the China medical team to Ghana, One Heart Foundation, China Enterprises Chamber of Commerce in Ghana. China Beijing United Foundation, China Ghana Friendship Hospital, Lekma Hospital, and Guangdong Provincial People's Hospital. The Chinese medical team have over the years worked with their Guinean counterparts, offering successful medications in the area of traditional and alternative medicines. From the onset, there has been that kind of cooperation between Lekma Hospital and the people of China. Over The actual name given to the hospital is China Ghana Friendship Hospital. It was a gift from the Chinese government to the Ghana government as a way of strengthening that sort of cooperation that existed between the two countries over the past um, 62 years. I see the hospital to be um, uh, something that is very good for the people of Ghana, particularly those living in the Jokuku and its environs. Yeah, so once they have put up the hospital and is serving as a symbol and encouraging the kind of cooperation between Ghana and China. Maybe it may facilitate trade and other things, but immediately from where I sit as a manager, I may not be able to talk about the benefits they get, but it's making Ghanaians and other people within Africa get to know the contributions that they are making in the healthcare delivery system. So from where I sit, what I can say is that it creates positive name, good name for the people of China and their government for thinking about the people of Ghana and helping Ghanaians access health services. The charity project has been tagged minimally invasive surgery in Ghana and seeing the Beautiful World Charity Project. In support of this medical charity, the China Enterprises Chamber of Commerce donated an amount of 170,000 Ghana cities, whilst One Heart Foundation and China Beijing United Foundation also gave 170,000 Ghana cities and 90,000 RMB respectively in support of the project. The project aimed at providing free cataract surgeries for the needy patients and partial support to all patients undergoing laparoscopic surgeries at Lekma Hospital as a means to promote minimally invasive surgery in Ghana. The point is that laparoscopic surgeries are happening in Ghana but on the minimal scale and people don't know what it is and also how good it is in the sense that those ones it, the procedure doesn't give you a bigger wound it's just a pinhole that they make and then the cameras goes into the body and then through the help of the cameras and then the screens they're able to use the surgical skills to remove whatever problem that is making you sick and then you wake up. So after the surgery, most of the time, within that same day, you are able to go back home. And uh, it's something that they are trying to encourage. And once we have the resources here, this team, we had the equipment and other things, but this team decided to play a role to make sure that the services starts. So whilst helping shape the skills of the professionals who have already trained in the use of those machines, they are also trying to also encourage access to laparoscopic surgery. And that is why the idea of bringing um, funding 
to support those who choose or who opt for laparoscopic surgery because the cost most people cannot bear. So they give you partial sort of um, funding to encourage the use. The focus is that from year one to the next three, four years, the focus is to encourage laparoscopic surgeries, particularly at Lekman Hospital, and also increase access by way of encouraging more. So this funding is to encourage access to laparoscopic surgeries, whilst works are put in place to also kind of improve upon the equipment support and other things that we have just to make sure that Ghanaians also get access to the advantages that it has associated with their laparoscopic surgeries. This is further serving as a key opportunity to rebuild and position Lekma Hospital to achieve its strategic objective of being a model district level hospital in maternal, child health and laparoscopic surgeries. The Lekma Hospital, also known as the Ghana-China Friendship Hospital, is a governmental health facility located at Teshi Triblo in Accra built by the Chinese government in 2010 to serve as a friendship hospital between Ghana and China. The government of the People's Republic of China contributed a sum of about 7.28 million US dollars. After 16 months of construction, the hospital was inaugurated by the then Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, on the 21st of December 2010. This health center came as a timely invention to serve residents and patients from far and near because there was no major health facility within the municipality. In the past, residents had to instead patronize the general hospital for treatment and care, which often led to congestion. Briefing the news team, the head of administration for Legma Hospital, Mr. Charles Banafo, stated that since the hospital was built by the Chinese, they have Chinese doctors who visit the facility every year to undertake various medical operations to further boost medical support at the hospital, where they are highly trained professional medical officers, well versed in their various capacities and fold of expertise. Um, we are looking forward that going forward, maybe in the next two years, they will train a lot of surgical professionals and other professionals within the hospital to improve the quality of care given in the area of uh, laparoscopic surgeries and other things. So training most, uh, I think um, over the past three years from 2019, I think from 2016 to 2019, over 50 staff have benefited from this training within this hospital. So the training is ongoing. So it's equipment, consumables, and then they support us professionals by way of bringing them to on site to help us and then also train our professionals to also gain the skills to be able to do by themselves. Apart from the fact that they are helping you, they are also learn, uh, helping you to learn how to fish so that you can fish for yourself. He added, the most recent group, the 11th batch of Chinese doctors, have been very instrumental in providing the quality of care at the Lekma Hospital in addition to bringing this charity project. Mr. Charles Banafo was full of praise for the leader of the Chinese medical team, Dr. Yu Dongnan, for all the good works undertaken by him and his team of Chinese doctors. Through the efforts of the team leader and the entire team, they have been able to secure some sort of funding from local Chinese companies and also from external Chinese companies and uh, they came together to form a chari charity project. The focus was to just to make sure that um, patients who come to assess services in the area of um, ophthalmology, that is uh, cataract surgeries, most of them, they realized that they couldn't afford their bills. And because they cannot afford, some of them go back home with their problem. And in the end, they end up becoming blind. So the team thought it wise that they should find a way of helping the people, apart from the fact that they themselves are professional helping in service delivery. They've gone beyond the service rendering to looking for funding for healthcare services. That is helping the patient to also be able to access services that they have brought. Yeah, so the focus of the charity project is to provide full funding for those who cannot pay for cataract surgeries and also provide some sort of partial support to encourage the use of laparoscopic surgeries in Ghana.
Dr. Yu Dongnan said the project was to assist the needy in society and make medical assistance more efficient in Ghana. China is the largest developing country. Okay. Yeah, and sure. after, after now, maybe he has already uh, come into the developed country, but he haven't come to the developed country. It's a very big country. Yeah, it's the largest developing country. And Ghana is a developing country too. So we have some common benefits. Okay. We want to develop together. Okay. We want to make business together. We sure. want to make a culture and a political exchange together. We want to do more works in the world. Is that right? Okay, so uh, when, when China become more and more stronger moment, more economic uh, technology, technology, yes, technology uh, they want to not only to want to earn money from our world, we want to make a reliable partner. The news team also visited the Legma Hospital Pharmacy, which provides 24-hour services to both inpatients and outpatients. What I'm doing right now is I'm preparing a tambutol syrup. So the tablet is now available in 100 milligram and has to be given to a child. So I have to formulate it into a syrup form so that we can derive the 100 milligram dose from the syrup to be given to the child. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, how would you maybe identify that this is the limit that you are looking for? I've done the calculation already, so I know what volume I'm preparing to. So afterwards, we'll do the calculation to know what volume to draw from the syrup to get the 100 milligram dose. So but that has been calculated already. should be a already. machine to detect that maybe Master, you have reached this level. Don't go beyond. No, it's just basic pharmaceutics. It is not an industrial practice. This is compounding. So we just crack the tablets, 400 milligram dose. We calculate for the number of days the child is supposed to be taking. Then the number of tablets required. Then we prepare to a volume. We just do ratio and proportion to take the dose that the child will require. It's just basic pharmacy practice. At the pharmacy, the team also interacted with Dr. Antonia Barnaman Quist, who is the Deputy Director of Pharmacy Services. So far, we have really benefited a lot from the Chinese government. A lot of equipment, and even sometimes they take people out there for training. It's really been a beneficial partnership. We try to do our best, and then we have a, a management team that sees to the day-to-day -day activities and we have a very supportive staff too we are supposed to work 24 hours a day so we go by that when we have a requisition we go to the medic regional medical stores and then we are given what they have what they don't have we go for non-availability from the regional pharmacies and then we go through the procurement processes to procure I would say, by and large, we are blessed to have China support us. Evelyn Okanta, who is also in charge of the theater at Legma Hospital, who was also a beneficiary of the first batch of Ghana medical professionals that received training and capacity building program in China, also took some time to share his experience. I'm part of the first team that had the opportunity to go to China, that's Guangzhou province. We had this, it's a mother and child hospital, and we had the privilege to have this laparoscopic experiences. It was an interesting and educative program. It's a minimal invasive surgery whereby you don't make a big open cut. We have a specialized instrument that we use, that we go in. As the procedure is going on, we view whatever is going on in. And we have a monitor that we view, and, and it's an interesting and creative program. They were so welcoming. They were ready to teach us whatever we wanted to know about laparoscopy. And they were very friendly to us. They were always on us, teaching us what to do, what to do, and what to, we should learn and come back to 
impart our experiences to others in our department. Isaac Ikpakuyen, a health assistant and a beneficiary of the Chinese medical surgeries, also shared his experience and thanked Dr. Yu and his team. In 2020, I had an accident and I broke my leg. My femur bone was broken. But through them, now I'm healed. Because after the accident, I was taken to a hospital and surgeries were done there. I did four surgeries at that hospital, but it wasn't successful. I was still having difficulties in walking, and the leg was still bleeding and oozing. A lot of space were coming from the, 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 the wound. And with that, I found it very difficult to walk. And through them, I was told it was osteomyelitis. And then, as I was introduced to, they helped me, did the surgery for me. And in two weeks, the wound is healed. The, the, all the space, the pains that were coming has all stopped. So now I have no problem. So I'm saying thank you very much, got China Medical Team, and the, how they have helped. And they are in Ghana to helping the Ghanaians. I'm very grateful to what they did to me. The doctor, Dr. Yang Tao, was always checking on me both day and night after the surgery was done. So everything became successful. The project aimed at providing free cataract surgeries for the needy patients and partial support to all patients undergoing laparoscopic surgeries at Lekma Hospital as a means to promote minimally invasive surgery in Ghana.